This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Just north of Omaha, Burke County could be the next site for wind energy expansion. The FAA is conducting a study and taking public feedback, looking at whether 87 wind turbine sites between Tacoma and Oakland would be a good fit. The Tacoma Airport Authority worries the turbines would create dangers for pilots in the area. The FAA is giving the county until January 25th to voice any concerns about the project. The firm in charge of the project told 3 News Now they do not comment on ongoing projects. Many area school districts have canceled classes for Friday because of snow and a wintry mix in the forecast. You can find all closings on our website, 3newsnow.com, or by downloading our free app to your phone. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeffel with this latest weather update. For those that still have to go to work, both commutes, the morning and the evening, will be impacted with the system moving in. Initially, temperatures still below freezing. Once we get to uh, the morning commute time, anywhere between 5 to up to 8 o'clock, moderate to even heavy snow showers. This will continue pretty much the entire morning until after about lunchtime. Then we'll start to see some transitioning more from a snow to a wintry mix, but very strong gusty winds from the southeast blowing in. That will continue into the evening. Temperature hovering right around freezing, so that's when we could see more of a freezing drizzle moving in. That'll just be right on top of the snow that fell earlier in the day. So here's kind of a timeline on this messy winter forecast. Again, snow for the morning commute, moderate to heavy all the way through lunch time and probably after lunch. I would say closer to maybe 1 to 2 o'clock. We'll see the switch over to snow. If that happens earlier, snow totals could be lighter, but if the snow continues until later on in the afternoon, we'll certainly see higher snow totals. The evening commute, expecting more of that freezing drizzle and then a mixture once we get into about 10 o'clock as the cold front moves in. System moves out by 3 a.m., but strong gusty winds from the north start blowing in, and that's going to usher in even colder air once we get into the rest of the weekend. As far as the snow totals, they're going to be ranging between 1 to 3 to the south, 3 to 5 here in the metro, probably closer to about a 3 to 4 on the overall totals, and then much higher further north you go between Harlan, Denison, Carroll, and back up into the north over north central Iowa. As far as our seven day forecast goes, again, after temperatures almost close to freezing and that warm layer of air moving in, bringing in that combination of snow and that wintry mix, we dry things out for Saturday and Sunday, but that's when the cold air really settles in here. Gust on Saturday morning between 40 to 50 miles an hour out of the north. That's going to push in that cold Arctic air, and then we're expecting it to drop down to one by the morning on Sunday, 10 for the high. And then once we get into Monday on MLK Day, I am looking at a low of minus two. That would actually be the coldest morning so far. 14 for the high, slowly recovering here. We get in the 20s and 30s by the middle part of next week, but we also see another chance for a wintry mix coming our way. Now at Godfather's Pizza, get a large one topping pizza for 12 bucks when you buy two. That's right. Get two large one topping pizzas for only $12 each. And this is a delicious deal. At just $12 each, now for a limited time.